All right, so again. Yeah. All right, so this is um, introducing our piano mentor. This is Dwight um, Gordon. And lift up your hand, Dwight. And uh, Otiana Coleman. All right. So um, we are messing around with the blues. Right. Let's run that again. piano mentors at Avant Academy of Music, which means that you guide persons in their pursuit of learning to play the piano. When did you start, or how did you start playing the piano? Oh, well for me, um, I'm, a, I'm a singer originally, right? Um, so what happened is that after learning all these historical parts of rock music, vocally, you know, by great singers all the way back, from, from 1950, in the 50s, in the, in the 60s, that's kind of music for me, you know, come all the way up to now, you know, so it's moving from a smoky Robinson, you know, just to see her, you know, to a smoky novel in the Christian field, you know, I need, I need, you know. Um, but I was watching a movie one, one day um, with um, these two pianists on a, on a boat, uh, actually on a ship, and, you know, that level of music that they were playing actually pushed me to, you know, to go to the Edna Manley, um, you know, to, to do music. So I was there, you know, for, you know, part time doing music. And then I started to actually introduce what I've learned, you know, into, 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 into piano studios, in the piano labs that make me be um, this piano teacher today. So, you know, it's all about, you know, that's where I started my music. All right, what about you, Otiano? I started music playing piano actually when I was um, probably a week before I turned nine years old. Um, and much like many students, or many children, I started out going because my parents sent me. Um, I, I was learning to play read music. So I was playing through um, children, children's books like um, the John Thompson basic piano series. Um, and I did that for about five, five years straight, until I was about 14. Um, and I, I sort of lost interest in, in the reading, of, reading music. I was, thought it wasn't cool at the time, you know. <laughs> and I was getting to that age where I wanted to be cool. And it wasn't be, being cool anymore. Uh, but somewhere around that same time though, probably a year before I turned 14, uh, the musician, the keyboard player at our church, she left. And there was no one at church who played the piano or the keyboard. And so, only knowing how to read music, I, I, I was ushered into the limelight. And just through um, share four seven, I took it up and taught myself to play by ear. Um, and then, when I got to about 16, I realized well, I can actually do this professionally. You know? And so, I've been going ever since. All right, so, both of you have been teaching for a while now um, in different areas, different types of students, um, different scenarios. Um, what is the greatest difficulty or one of the challenges that your students have and how do you help them to overcome that difficulty? Uh, for me, um, in the classical field, right, in the classical world, um, um, I think people setting um, students for exam, you know, one of the things is that our, our, you know, back-to-back -back jobs sometimes hinder us from really practice as we want to. And some of us uh, didn't have much time for our kids, you know, so we just, okay, you know, music is just a, you know, a getaway kind of thing just to have them, you know, doing something. But, but, but also, you know, they want them to actually develop, you know, more, 
sense sense of humor when it comes to um, you know passing their maths exams and etc etc. So, so is the problem know, practice? Is it is it is the challenge is finding so, so, time so to practice, practice? So practice, so finding so finding time to practice is is normally a major um, challenge for any student at all. Right. And um, and so therefore you know um, to to get over with that is to allow them to to tell them not to practice too often. You know, it's so it's so five minutes, ten minutes is good. Once you have to, once you don't, just be consistent about that five minutes. Be consistent about that ten minutes. You know, if you overdo it, your brain is gonna tell you to stop. Okay, so you're discouraging them from trying to practice for hours. For hours, or even for though you like nine. the instrument, even though you like the instrument, even though it's something that you love so much, you have to be careful. You practice again. Actually, if you if you practice too long. It's, it might just, um, you know, it might just tore you apart as a, as a music lover. So shorter, but more frequent shorter, and more consistent. More, more, more consistent. All right. What about you, Otieno? What challenges have your students have have had or experienced, and how have you helped them to overcome? Um, but one of the, the problems that I notice, excuse me, <clears throat> the problems that I have noticed is, I mean, reading music. That's um, one issue, just being able to recognize the notes um, as this as students see them on the page, recognize what note they're supposed to be pressing on the piano. Um, how I have helped to overcome that is to get them to do simple things like say the notes while you play them. Not necessarily in in, in front of me, but when they're at home, when they're practicing, in their, in their private space, say the notes as they play them. Um, in an attempt to combine what you see on the page to getting it up here, to saying it, and to getting it down into the fingers, trying to become one with the music. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Um, if either of you can answer this question, if you could have a superpower, what would that superpower be? As regards to music. As regards <laughs> Just a life, a life, a life. If you could have a superpower, what superpower would you choose? Whoa. I, I don't know if if if, if, if for, for my superpower is it's just to it's just to live right, be a good example to people. Have that power. I think that's a very I think that's a superpower for me because it's not easy to be to to live a good life, to share equal rights with everybody to, to love everybody equally and, and and for me if i can master that then i think i'm a superman what about you Otieno? um if i uh, i'm very related to music if i could play an instrument um to the level where i, I know i know we say that sports or football um gathers the nations together but if i could play and um, play music 